everyone, it's Louise with Louise McCare, and welcome to my channel. And I am in the middle of creating some coasters here, so I'm just gonna show as I go. And what I want to announce here are the winners of the giveaway that I will reveal as this video unfolds. And remember, I will have three winners, not two, because I had great response. I had 89 people participate in 152 entries. It's my Amsterdam Sky Blue Light. And I also want to add here that I am going to draw and announce the winners separately during this video, starting with the person that won third place. Also, as I announce the winners and you leave your comments, please do not say who won in the comments. I'd really appreciate that so that the person that won can find out for themselves when they watch the video. My Artes is pearl lime green. to mix more of this up. It's my <clears throat> Golden's Turquoise with Amsterdam's Turquoise. I literally just mixed this up before my first coaster which probably might be explaining some of the bubbles I'm getting, but I'm not doing bad. I'm using a new paint this time. It's Glidden, and I'll inset it above. There we go. This is my gold combination, Iridescent Gold by Golden and 24 Karat Gold by DecoArt. This is my purple combination, which is Prism Pores, Violet Rose. This has definitely gotten thicker. I spritz it with a little bit of water. Yeah, a little more. And the last color is my Payne's Gray combination with Artezas and Goldens. See how much more this spreads? This pillow spreads so much faster. Still activator. Aha, There's a lot of bubbles in that paint. The white, this is titanium white. So my American Floatrol Selectivator video 141 if you wanna see how I make it. And this is behaving differently too with this. And this is the black. This is Amsterdam's oxide black. Here we go. So for everyone, and especially the new folks that are here, I always like to blow straight down into the cell activator to start to get it to spread out in as much a full circle as possible. And once I had that little divot in the middle from where I blew and see that ridge where the cell activator pushed out to, I blow at that ridge, which is the cell activator, and then I blow that cell activator out over the paints and the paints out over the pillow. I don't know if you're seeing how much easier all this is to spread out. But the cell activator is not acting the same, which is a concern. I don't know if I have a bad batch so I think I'm going to make four more of these with an Australian and see if there's any difference. I do end up making four more using the Australian just to see the difference, and I will show those at the end as well. So you can't see what I'm seeing, but there's a lot of activity of, of uh, paint percolating to the top, but I'm not getting white spots from it. It's very strange. 
I don't want to be too hopeful that this glidden is going to work. Because honestly, I'm a little concerned that it's so thin. Even after decanting it for for two or three days. When I say decanting decanting it, I let leave it open in this container. I take it out of the out of the gallon, put it in a smaller container, put a nylon over the top of it so it doesn't get dusty, and then stir it every, every so often so it doesn't get um, crusty, if you know what I mean. So part of this with testing out this glidden is to see not only is it going to help me with my bubble factory, but how well it holds up after it's drying. And as I go through the rest of this video, I will cut out all of the cleanup portions. So like I mentioned earlier, we'll announce the third place winner first, later in the video, the second place winner, and then nearing the end, we'll announce the first place winner. And part of this test, color test, is to see, I'm trying to test colors for a new fusion piece that I have in the works. It is not your typical fusion piece. I'm not sure my black cell activator is working very well. Seems to be just kind of staying there. These paints aren't extraordinarily thin, so it should be coming up. I'm not putting too much down, I don't think. I'm putting a little dabber. A little dabber. Yeah, and you can't go wrong with a purple, turquoise, and gold combination. So while I'm popping bubbles here, I just want to clarify before I announce any winners. The person that wins first will get the first choice of the three prizes. The second place will get the second choice of what's left, and the third place will get what's left over. I do not know what's going on in the middle. I got great lacing. So here I'm just getting ahead of the bubbles that are popping up, and when I pop them, I'm actually getting color underneath and not the pillow, which is good. Okay, everybody, we're here for the drawing for the third place winner. And without looking, I'm picking one name. Let's see who we get. Oh, Lieta, Lieta Brooks. You are the third place winner, and so whoever wins first and second place, you will get the option of uh, taking the third place win. Um, yeah, congratulations, everybody. I don't know what to do. I wonder if I should use the multi-pro and see the cell activator, see what the difference is. I could do that. I don't know if I want three sets of coasters though. Very different. Not sure I like it. Okay, everybody, we're back for the drawing for the second winner in the giveaway. Here are all the entries. I'm gonna close my eyes, and this person will get the second choice of the items in the drawing. And this winner is, oh, Byron Chandler. Congratulations, you are the second place winner. So you, you'll get to pick from whatever is left over from what the first person picks. All right. So here all I'm going to do is clean up the bottoms and then I'm going to show you the final result. So here we are, after it's been cleaned up, the final result. I'm really happy with how this turned out. 
So everyone, that's a wrap. Here are the final results of the coasters using the American Floatrol cell activator. And right after I show you these four coasters, I'm going to reveal the first place winner in the giveaway. So sit tight, everybody. We'll be back here in one second. Hi, everybody. We're here to do the drawing, and here are all the entries, and I have 152 entries in this little basket, and we're drawing for the first winner. So the first winner is going to get a choice of whatever they want, and that person is Carrie Earls. You are the lucky first winner, and you will get the choice of either the coasters, the jar, or the paints. And I will be, you will be in touch with me. I'll leave my email at the end of this video. And uh, please reach out to me and let me know what your choices are. So everyone, congratulations again. Uh, please email me your top three choices in first, second, and third order so I'll know how to uh, divide up the prizes. Uh, I'll have my email listed below. And also, please do not in the comments mention who won because I would like the person that's winning to find out on their own during the video. It's kind of like a Christmas time type of thing where you don't want to have the prize revealed before, the present revealed before you get a chance to open it yourself and see what's inside. So please do me that favor. I'd really appreciate it, but do say congratulations to all the winners. All right, everybody. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, I'm going to show you the results of these coasters using the Australian Floatrol Cell Activator recipe so you can see what the differences are. And at the end of the video, I will have a link to other coasters in my Bloom Coaster playlist. Thanks a lot, everybody. Take care. Till next time. So what I have here are the final resin results of the American Floatrol Cell Activator recipe coasters that I made. And I'm really happy with how these turned out, but I do think that my black cell activator was probably a little too thick because it wasn't as reactionary as I would expect it to be. And once again, though, I don't know exactly how the Glidden pillow might have been influencing anything in these creations as well. So what I will have up next for the very end of this video are my coasters that I made using the same colors, same order with the Australian Floatrol Cell Activator. And here they are. And once again, everybody, thank you for helping me get to 10,000 subscribers. Without you, it's not possible. And I really had a lot of fun with the drawing and I appreciate it. And I hope everybody enjoys what they're going to get. Thanks a lot, everybody. Take care. Till next time.